So hello and welcome to this Christian Faith Assembly. Do you remember my name? It's Mark. It's really good to see you, though I can't actually see you. Um, let's get started. So I want you to picture the scene. You're walking through the playground, doing what you do in the playground, and you see some of your friends and they're laughing at somebody. You go over and you find out that there's someone who forgot to put their socks on this morning. Who does that? And your friends are laughing at them. Now you can see that the other person is not really enjoying it at all. They're actually close to crying. What do you do? Do you join in with your friends and laugh? Or do you do something else? Now that's our big question for today. How do you do the right thing? How do you do the right thing even if other people are not doing the right thing? The Christian answer. To that is to do with God and knowing who God is, that he's the one in charge. And uh, I've got a challenge for you really. We're going to sing a song, but really it's a song that you won't be able to sing. I can't sing it and I've listened to this song a lot. It's a song about God making everything and I want you to try and count how many things God made in this song. Just count, see if you can get them. It's a fun song, enjoy it. There's an ant plant, hand span, ham spam, jam tram, man, man, boy, girl, cheese flan. There's a car, spa, tar bar, aardvark, hard bark, shark, dog, park, walk, lock. God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. There's an ink link, pink drink, zinc blink, sink link, God made everything. There's a prawn lawn, dawn horn, pick tick, pick tick, zoo zoo, lulu, tutu. Too. There's a hot spot, not pot, top cot, dot yacht, bees knees, flea ski sneeze. God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. There's a crane brain, mainframe, plain grain, plain rain, God made everything. Oh, God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. When you look everywhere, everywhere, stare, God made everything. There's an ant plant, hand span, ham spam, jam tram, man man, boy girl, cheese flan. There's a car spa, tar bar, aardvark, hardbark, shark dog, park, quark, lark. God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. There's an inkling, pink drink, zing blink, sink ring, God made everything. There's a... Prawn on dawn horn, pick tick, pick nick, zoo zoo loo loo too too. There's a hot spot, not pot, top cop, dot yacht, bees knees, fleece, fleece, sneeze. God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. There's a crane brain, mainframe, plain grain, plain rain, God made everything. Oh, God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. When you look everywhere, everywhere, say God made everything. God made everything. God made everything. Now, do you see why I said that's a hard song to sing? I can't do it. But it is a fun song. And there are 59 things that God made in that song. Did you get that right? Well done if you got close. Now, back to our question. How do we do the right thing? And I'm going to tell you a story about a man named Daniel, which is in the Old Testament, the first half of the Bible. And uh, Daniel was a man. He actually, he was a boy, probably about 13, 14, something like that. And he knew God. He knew that God made everything and he wanted to listen to God. But then he and everyone he knew was captured by the Babylonians. Now, the Babylonians were a bit like, Aha! I'm a pirate! Now, the Babylonians were not actually pirates, but let's imagine they were. And Daniel had to be taken to the city of Babylon, the shrewd city, where there was a king named Nebuchadnezzar. And this king, Nebuchadnezzar, decided he was going to try and change Daniel and all of his friends and make them Babylonian. Daniel would have to forget about God, forget about his people and his family, and he'd have to become Babylonian. A bit like becoming a pirate, like this. Aha! I'm gonna turn you into a, a pirate, methinks. Up on your feet, up on your feet. 
Teachers, I'm sorry about what the chaos are about to start, but I don't have to deal with it, so it's okay. Everyone up on your feet, and I'm sorry your sixes too. I know it isn't very cool, but sometimes it's more fun doing this than being cool. Anyway, I ain't gonna turn you out to be a pirate. First, you gotta be able to say, ah har can you do that? ah har That wasn't very good, was it? Try again, ah har And then you gotta have one eye. So you've got to put an arm over one eye, a hand over one eye, like this. I got a hook, a hand over one eye. And, and most pirates, we only have one leg. So get one leg up like this, yeah? And say, aha, all together, that's brilliant. Now, on our pirate ships, we also have planks. We are walking the planks. So can you get on your tiptoe, on your one leg, the leg that's working, get on your tiptoe, oh, oh, like this, and say aha, and then jump like this. Aha! Very good. Very good being pirates. Now sit back down. See you soon. Teachers, I'm sorry, but that was Daniel's problem. Would he become Babylonian? Would he do the right thing? Or would he give up on God? Daniel said, no, I'm gonna stick with God. I'm gonna stick with doing the right thing even though it's hard. For Daniel, it meant that he would only eat bread and drink water. What an idiot. Well, actually he said he'd eat some vegetables too, but who likes eating vegetables? Now this was a really scary thing for Daniel to do, but all the other food in Babylon was part of worshiping another God. And so Daniel said, no, I'm gonna stick with the real God and so I'm not, I can't eat all that food. I've got to just eat bread and water and vegetables. This is a scary thing for Daniel to do. Would people laugh at him? <laughs> and what would the king do? Daniel nearly got in trouble because the guard thought that he would be really weak and puny if he only ate vegetables. And so Daniel was a bit scared. But Daniel knew that it was better to do the right thing, even if you got laughed at, even if you got in trouble. It's always better to do the right thing. And you know what, for Daniel, God helped him. Actually, God made him stronger than everyone else just by eating bread and water and vegetables. Daniel knew that the best thing, the most important thing, is to follow what God says, to do the right thing. And this is the thought I want to, to get you thinking about. Sometimes doing the, the right thing is not the easiest thing. Sometimes it's easier to lie or to laugh at people or to cheat or steal or just do something wrong. But it's always better to do the right thing. Christians know that if there is a God, we can trust him. We can trust him. And so it's always better to do the right thing. Sometimes it's hard listening to God. Sometimes it's not very cool being a Christian. I mean, look at me. But it's always better to do the right thing. Listening to God, following him. I'm gonna lead us in a prayer now. Maybe you wanna join in too. Father, we thank you for, for Daniel and the courage he had to do the right thing, even when it was scary, even when it was hard. And we thank you that we can know that you are God and you are in charge. And so we can trust you even when we're doing these hard, the hard things of, of doing the right thing. Please help us to do that. Help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I want to say thank you for being involved today and hopefully I'll see you soon, maybe even in person sometime. But until I see you next, bye-bye. Bye-bye.